Brazil has confirmed that it is in advanced negotiations with India for four Project 17 Nilgiri class missile frigates for Brazilian Navy from Indian shipyards. Larsen and Tubro has indigenously designed and developed 651 kilowatt water jet propulsion system with more than 70% indigenous content, that has successfully completed preliminary sea trials aboard Indian Navy's fast interceptor craft. Paratroopers of Western Command validated their rapid reaction and special operations capability in deep insertion for strategic water objective. Bangladesh's National Board of Revenue has suspended import of yarn from India through land ports. The CAG has delivered a scathing critique of Hindustan Aeronautics for the delay in the RUAV-200 program, that was sanctioned in 2015 at a cost of 23.18 crore rupees. Hyderabad-based Apollo Microsystems has received 75.2 crore rupees from the DRDO. Indian government is planning to expand cheap defense loans targeting Russia's traditional customers, including countries with higher political or credit risks, that may limit their access to conventional financing. A debate has started, that the time has come for transferring the technology of cavalry engine to serious private players, that will not only fix the engine for the Tejas Mark 1A, but also develop larger variants. If the cavalry technology is transferred to a consortium of private firms, with the RDO retaining oversight to prevent misuse, the private sector's agility financial muscle and innovation-driven culture could address the cavalry's shortcomings, and could also accelerate development by leveraging modern design tools, AI-driven simulations and global consultants. The Indian Air Force is inviting private industry partners to design and develop advanced ground-launched beyond visual line-of-sight loitering munitions, that will carry 50 kg explosive warhead, a range of 1,000 km to allow deep strikes into enemy territory from safe launch points, and an ability to loiter for over 6 hours. Hindustan Aeronautics 200 km range Cats Hunter air launched subsonic cruise missile is still awaiting clearance from the Indian Air Force and the Ministry of Defense, and the hesitation to green light the Cats Hunter is driven by the poor performance of subsonic cruise missiles in the Russia Ukraine conflict, as subsonic cruise missiles have struggled against modern air defenses such as the S 400 and Panzer systems and also due to the availability of low-cost supersonic air-launched cruise missiles. The RDO officials have disclosed ambitious plans to develop more powerful tank engines based on the same 1,500 horsepower Datron core. The Datron engine has been engineered with modular sections, allowing for the integration of new core components to boost its rated power output to 1,800 horsepower, a capability that aligns with the Indian Army's vision for heavier and more capable main battle tanks in the future. Today's Top 3 Comments Oh, Mark, drop it.